Osmosis, an investigation of the water potential of potato tubers with known concentrations of sucrose solution. To carry out the investigation, you would be provided with the following items of basic equipment. Boiling tubes, a marker pen, a ruler, a white tile, forceps, scalpel and a 10 milliliter syringe. Other items will be a potato or potato chips, one molar sucrose solution, a sieve, some blotting paper, some cling film and a test tube rack. In the course of this activity you will be using a three decimal place balance. You will become familiar with its operation and how to take accurate readings from it. Initially, your balance may display a small value. In order to make accurate observations, you will need to zero the balance, as shown in the video. The potato tuber you are provided with has a cross-sectional area of 10mm by 10mm. Choose only the potato tuber samples, which do not have any potato skin on the outside. Nominal amounts of skin on the ends of the sample can be trimmed away. As far as possible this will mean that each potato tuber sample will be able to be affected by the concentration of the sucrose solution evenly. Trim away any remaining skin from the potato sections to create even samples. Please adhere to the health and safety guidelines when using bladed or sharp equipment. Trim all the potato sections to an even length so they are uniform. At the end of this process, you will require six even potato samples. Using the one molar sucrose solution and distilled water via the means of the 10 milliliter syringe, make up the dilutions indicated on the boiling tubes. Using the marker pen provided in your kit, accurately label the boiling tubes with the dilutions that they contain. Please ensure that you have made up an appropriate volume of each concentration to cover your potato sample. At this stage of the investigation, your equipment and samples should look something like this. The process of weighing the potato sections can now begin. Blot any excess liquid or starch from the surface of the potato section. Ensure that the weight of each section is correctly associated with the concentration in which it will be immersed. As each weight is registered, an on-screen caption will associate it with the concentration. From the raw data shown on screen, tabulate the results using SI units.
Cover the boiling tubes containing the samples with the cling film provided. This will prevent any evaporation of the sucrose solutions and any contamination that may enter the tubes. We enter the wibbly wobbly world of time passing. 24 hours later, you will be able to re-weigh your sample. Following the same processes as the initial weighing, take the final weights of the potato samples from each concentration. As each raw data weight appears, there will be an on-screen graphic to associate it with the correct concentration. Draining the sucrose solution from the samples is done using a sieve. This can be done into a beaker provided or into one of the laboratory sinks. As good scientists, we should take care of our equipment. Please be tidy when you work in the labs and return the equipment to the basket provided. <laughs> 